Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of The Longest Road on Earth. Last time we left off we were back here with... Crocodile... Weird sundry shop person. Alligator crocodile, I don't know. Okay, someone came in, what are you getting? You getting a... Is that a... Phone? Okay. Are you... Are you gonna... Okay, I was about to say, are you gonna pay for that? Yeah, you want a phone. Okay, so these are like various memories associated with different objects because that second one was the piano. Uh, oh. Nice car. It's a pretty sick looking ride. Okay, so yet another person going to a job. That that crate said fossil. Okay. Not really sure what my job is yet. Name, day, morning, afternoon, in, out. Okay, so timesheet. Just like doing paperwork? I think that's what's happening here. I think you're just doing paperwork. I don't see a computer. So yeah, I think you're just like signing papers and stuff. There's not much else going on around. I wonder if I could have kept walking to the left and maybe found some other stuff.
It seemed like that last bit was trying to show us what it was like going through a day. You look at the ceiling and you just kind of look around. You're waiting for the day to end. I know that feeling a lot. God, just sitting at your desk like, ugh. So who are we now? This is a different character, right? I think it is. Looks like we're almost on like a boat or something. Some, some boat out at sea. Maybe I'm right about that, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Okay, I don't think I'm going that way. I think we gotta go to the left over here up these stairs. Come on, bird person, I think? I believe. Maybe you're in the Navy. Maybe that's why you're doing sit-ups in your room. Yeah, definitely a boat. Definitely a boat. I see the... yeah. I guess this is just a transport ship. Yeah. Seems to be what it is. We're just carrying uh, crates of stuff across the ocean. Are we gonna see the fossil one? Because that was the name of the one we saw, that one at the uh, place with the last character. I don't know if I'm walking to the edge of the ship for a reason, or... or not. I might just be walking to the edge of the ship for no reason at all. It's gonna be a long walk back if I'm wrong. Please be where I was supposed to go. I don't want to have to walk all the way back. Cool. Yep, that's some water. Okay, now we fading. Winning day after day. 
I wonder if this is like a comparison of like blue collar life to white collar job life. That's what I'm thinking. That's that's kind of all I can get from it, unless we get some revelation at the end that connects these two characters. But one's working in an office and one is actually on the ship doing the uh, manual labor and the shipping and stuff. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. They're maybe going for here, but I could be wrong. All right, I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to clean. I got all the spots down there, I got all the spots up here. Now what? Where do we go? What do we do? Ooh, oh we put it away. Makes sense. We done now. Job's done. We can go sleep or do more sit-ups. Gotta get beefed. No? Okay. We don't want to go that way. So we gotta go walk back this way. It's funny to me that you can't run with any of these characters. They walk, because that's what normal people do in real life. In video games, we t we always want to run everywhere like a lunatic, but nobody does that in real life. Or like lightly jog. Now we're in the mess hall. I could choose what I wanted to get there, and these are the things I chose. Feels alright. I've been looking for a while. 
Yeah, it definitely seems like, especially in the part where it had both of them, like, compared to each other, we were seeing them do stuff at the same time, like, both of them having lunch. It definitely seems like a comparison between the two. I think that's what this is going for, but once again, that's the whole point of this game. You have to come up with your own stories for these things. What was happening there? The boss came and like sat something down on her desk. It's a piece of paper or something. Where are we supposed to take this? What are we supposed to do with it? I mean, I assume I was supposed to walk outside. It wouldn't let me go to the left there, so...
Yeah, that definitely seems like a comparison, like class differences, basically, because we saw the person that worked in the office, like driving away in a nice car, but the person actually working on the ship had to take the bus home and stuff. I think that's what that one was going for. I think. So, yeah, that was an interesting one. We had, uh, we had some interesting stuff going on there. So, yeah, this game continues to be pretty pretty interesting in its storytelling. It does uh, it, it gives you a lot of time to sit and think about what you're seeing and come to your own conclusions, which is a which is a pretty neat way to tell a story, especially in a game like in a, in a, in a game, I mean. Like, letting you live the lives of these people, every single, you know, bit of it. It's cool. But, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode of The Longest Road on Earth off. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.